And here is the no bullshit review of Elijah Craig Small Batch. So what exactly is a no bullshit review? It basically means I'm not gonna sit here and drink it in front of you and tell you that I taste vanilla or nutmeg or anything like that, because I just don't have the palate for that. So I'm gonna tell you the basics of this bourbon. Is it harsh, is it sweet? Does it have a floral taste to it? Um, smoky, full-bodied, harshness, I might mention already. Those are the basically the things we're gonna talk about in relation to the bourbon review here with Elijah Craig Small Batch. So what are you getting when you get Elijah Craig Small Batch? You're getting an amazing value in my opinion. You can get this for around 25 bucks a bottle and a 750 milliliter, 94 proof. So it's uh, it's under 100 proof, but that's great for people who uh, you know don't want to go crazy, get like rare breed or barrel proof, etc. It's a good you know entry level if you're gonna have something in your liquor cabinet. I definitely say as far as the bourbon goes, you can't go wrong with this one right here. Now when it comes to my ratings, as far as the sweetness goes, it's about an eight out of ten. Um, it is a sweeter bourbon, in my opinion. Harshness, you're going to look at around 4 out of 10. It has a little bit of harshness to it. If you're comparing it to other ones that are out there, I would put Bourbon Trace, Bourbon Trace, I put Buffalo Trace uh, as very, very mild, not crazy, going to, you know, kick your butt or anything. Second to that, I put Wild Turkey 101. Then I'd kind of move up to a Knob Creek. Those are kind of interchangeable. And then after that, I'd put the Elijah Craig as far as harshness. Now, what do I mean by harshness? I mean, like, does it have a bite to it? And that makes sense because the Buffalo Trace is uh, a 90 proof. This is 94. The Knob Creek and the Wild Turkey are uh, 101 and uh, 100. So you're gonna find that if it does a little more alcohol, it's gonna be a little more bite. Is there any floralness to this? I do not taste any floralness to this. I do with the Four Roses uh, single barrel, uh, but not with the small batch Elijah Craig. As far as, is it full bodied? Yeah, it has a good body to it. It lasts around and kind of plays around on the playground for a while. Uh, is it smoky? No, nah, not really. So what's a good comparison for this? In my opinion, and I haven't had every single bourbon on the market, but the Knob Creek, uh, what is this? Knob Creek, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, 100 proof, small batch. That and Wild Turkey 101 are a relatively good comparison to this. This is a little bit harsher. It has a little bit more complexity than these two. But if you've ever had these two, then rest assured, this is not going to be dramatically different than those. Buffalo Trace is going to be uh, similar as well. If you can find that, it's a little bit more difficult to find Buffalo Trace though compared to those other ones I just showed you. As far as value goes, can't go wrong, 25 bucks. This should be a staple in everyone's liquor cabinet if you're into you know, uh, drinking, having parties, having people over. And uh, if you're looking for a bourbon that can mix well, you can drink it by itself. You cannot go wrong with this Elijah Craig small batch. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you have had this in the past, go ahead and put comments down below. What do you think of it? What's your comparison? Maybe you've had other bourbons that I haven't had. Uh, put down below what you think of it and what compares well to it. And until next time, later.